working on this little hatch on this compact 16 and um, I, I popped it out uh, the adhesive was holding good between the uh, hatch and this filler piece but between the filler piece and the deck um, the adhesive um, bedding compound you know was holding really good to the deck but uh, not holding to the uh, little furring piece that they had made it looks like they made it this HDPE I think is what you call it um, they probably I don't know whether they used a, a, a cutting board to make that out of or whether they cut it out of a sheet of, you know, um, sheet good material or what. But uh, anyway, they, they've, you know, shaped it to fit the, to the curve of the deck and it fit nicely. But unfortunately, it you know, that's, uh, had let go between the two. So I'm going to clean it up really good, uh, clean all that adhesive off and uh, clean it with acetone. Clean this really good and I will give that a, a coarse sanding to, and then clean it again to try to give it a little bit more something to bite to. And um, probably use 4200 under it maybe. Just, there's a, you know, when you walk on the deck, there's always going to be just a touch of flex, and especially in a small boat like this. Um, there is no plywood or balsa coring in it. It's all solid uh, glass with uh, a little bit of uh, um, the synthetic, uh, whatever you call it, the composite material between it. Um, they mix up a slurry of something and put in there. Just as a little filler to give it some stiffening, but uh, so there's nothing in here that's going to rot, at least not on this model. I think prior to 1980 they may have used something different, but uh, anyway, see how it goes. It's a nice little hatch. <clears throat> I was just reading the label on the hatch. And it says to avoid, uh, that was pretty little, but anyway, it says to avoid acetone and to only use silicone for bedding. So I guess I'll be, I guess I'll be bedding this flange here with silicone. Although this looks more like life caulk or something that's in there. I'm not sure what that was, but um, I'll clean all that out. But this, I'm going to bed with something a little bit better, I think. Okay, I took and uh, scraped off the heaviest part with that just paint scraper, and then I just used a mechanics, you know, razor to clean it as good as I could, get all the residual um, caulking off of it. Took some acetone and cleaned that good, lightly sanded it, and cleaned it again. So that's as good as I can get that pretty much without taking off the gel coat. And then this piece, which I think is just made from a piece of uh, cutting board, which is, but I've, I've cleaned it and sanded it as well. You know, just trying to get it to where it'll bond better. And um, <clears throat> against what most people would say, I am going to bond this to the deck with 5200. Uh, because nothing likes to stick to this very good, and I'm going to try that. Um, there's always a little bit of flex in the deck when you walk on it, you know, on a small boat like this especially, so I'm hoping that that'll do. And then this, I'm going to follow the instructions which said to use silicone, so I'm going to put this in with silicone. And I've cleaned it as good as I could. It was not silicone on it before, uh, but it was leaking before, so... I did, I sanded that a little bit too, um, scraped it off as best I could and then sanded it lightly and wiped it down a little bit. Did not use acetone because the instruction said not to use acetone. So we'll see how it goes. Well, I got it in. Um, that bottom HDPE or whatever it's called, um, cutting board, whatever it is, is... I've got that installed with uh, 
5200 and I know a lot of people will say that I should not have used that. Um, I wanted to make sure that it did not leak for a while and I hope it'll hold it. Um, it's um, hard to get stuff to stick to that and, and hold it really well. Um, and that's a pretty um, exposed spot there flush with the deck, you know, for water to get in. So that's sealed up with that. And then the hatch itself is sealed with 100% uh, uh, silicone uh, because that's what the manufacturer recommended on the hatch. I do know that it was leaking between the deck and that filler piece and the reason they, they, the previous person owner installed that, I guess, um, it did a pretty good job of it. It's just that it, you know, the bond broke. But I know you can't really see it there, but there's a the crown in the deck. Um, that white filler piece is shaped to fit the crown in the deck. And then the top of it is flat for the hatch to, uh, you know, to sit, sit flat on. So like I say, it's, you know, not a bad solution, uh, you know, using cutting board like that. I, I've uh, seen other people do, do similar things. Um, I've used cutting board for a few things, but not for, not for a filler between the hatch and a deck, but, but it worked.